Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paul Ralphtree and I'm a director with Projects Outreach. Tonight I've been asked to speak briefly about how strategic reviews lead to mergers and acquisitions and divestment opportunities. At Projects RH, we are fortunate that a number of our clients involve us early on in the, their business development process. And we often speak to chairmen, founders and CFOs about what's happening in the business. They will come to us and say, we have an idea. That's great, but what's really important is they have processes in place where they strategically review their business plan. Organisations who are seeking to raise money need to have business plans which are reviewed on a regular basis. We would recommend that for a new company to remain nimble and dealing with black swan events such as COVID-19, they need to be formally reviewing their business plan at least every three months. Gone are the days where an organisation could have a five year rolling business plan and just adjust things here and there. It was great that the divisions reported against this time last year and business plan as well as actuals. What's happened is the shareholders are demanding that businesses get more value. What they need to do is focus on their core strengths. What the reviews that come out give us is, are they doing that? We ask our businesses as part of preparing their business plans and their reviews to do a SWOT analysis, where they look at the strengths, weakness, opportunities, and threats. Businesses, particularly small growing ones, need to focus on their strengths and be ready for disruptors and black swan events. What we see is the critical is they adjust rapidly and they think about their investors. We're very impressed about a young man who we saw, who given COVID-19 lost his job and he was a part-time student, part-time worker and he quickly built an arepa business. An arepa is a Spanish form of bread uh, eaten in Latin America. He put together the business in quick time from procurement, preparing, cooking, distributing, marketing and cash collection. He saw the opportunity, took the risk and seized the day. Being ready for M&A and divestment is that sort of spirit. Acquisitions normally occur because you want something. You look at the business and you either want to be in a supply chain, someone who supplies things to you or someone you supply things to, so you can increase your margin. Horizontal is you go into another market, so you buy a like company. What you're trying to do is increase your value. Mergers are you see an opportunity with someone who does something like what you do or does the same thing as you do in another market. So together you should achieve synergies. One of the most interesting is divestments. And I've been astonished to see the number of people who are founders who I thought lived and breathed for their company who are willing to make a divestment. They already have the gem of the next idea they understand how important it is when you're raising money to have already had a successful previous experience and they're willing to take a risk. What we've seen out there in business land is that people will invest, but they are wanting to see that businesses are willing to reshape themselves so that they get most most return for their shareholders. Particularly, making an acquisition 
or divestment is most beneficial if you want to expand your markets. I have been also surprised at the number of, of people in the technology space that say, I am very happy to sell my product to Alphabet or Microsoft and move on to the next. On a regular basis, it's important that businesses look at their opportunities for mergers and acquisitions and divestments. It's also important that they remember that they need to act in the long-term best interest of shareholders. We work with really exciting clients who have these abilities and willingnesses, and we enjoy what we do. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention this evening. This is Paul Raftree from Projects RH.